Hello everyone and welcome to Center Your 30 Day Yoga Journey. I'm Adrian, and this is Sweet Benji and we're so excited that you are here. It is day one and the most important thing and potentially the hardest part of this whole journey is that you show up. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started. Alrighty, let's begin in a comfortable seat. Ta-da, we have already begun. Come on down to the ground. Take your time getting there. And this is kind of a great thing to start with. Each day that we begin, no matter how you're feeling or what you're coming to the practice with, it's all good. I mean that. I've been doing this a long time. It is all good. And that is really what we're celebrating today with our theme of showing up. So as long as you're showing up to the mat, you can sit here in a comfortable seat the whole time while the video rolls on. You can breathe with us instead of move. I'm gonna show you a lot of modifications, of course, but the most important thing is that you come with whatever you've got that day and show up. So hopefully by now you're in that comfortable seat. I'm just gonna take the hands together, palms together, Anjali Mudra at the heart, relax your shoulders, and if you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes or allow your gaze to soften down gently past your nose. So we're gonna work with shape a lot, but again, the most important thing is the fact that you showed up. That is the most valuable part, in my opinion, of a centering practice. Begin to relax your shoulders. We're gonna really ease in. Tuck your chin slightly, lengthen the back of the neck. Just start to notice your breath. Again, showing up with your breath each day. Not worrying too much about nailing the postures or accomplishing the journey. Simply show up and allow the practice to unfold. Begin to gently deepen your breath, whatever that means for you right now. It could be a couple deep inhalations and long cleansing exhales. It could just be a little more expansion as you breathe in and a little more softening, a little awareness as you breathe out. So again, no right or wrong, just showing up with your breath. Inviting in a new awareness every time you come to the mat. Continue to relax your shoulders down. Soften your gaze, close the eyes, allow the skin of your face to soften. And as we continue to just tune in here for a moment or two more, see if you can sit up a little bit taller lengthening through your spine, perhaps finding a gentle lift in your heart center. Continuing to gently deepen the breath. The mantra today is, I can. Take it or leave it. You can take it and run with it. I can. Or you can just leave it on the shelf. No worries. Ah. 
I'm very honored to guide you through this practice. I'm very honored to practice alongside you, all of us together. Find your center. Let's take a deep breath in. All together and as you exhale, bow the head towards the hands, head to heart. Thank you so much for showing up. It's the hardest part. And then we can bat the eyelashes open, open nine eyes, and we're gonna come slowly forward onto all fours. Take your time. Move like you love yourself. Spread your fingertips. It's okay if you don't, if we're, that's why we're here. We're here to, to, to nurture that and nurture that experience, but move as if, right? You love yourself. Spread the fingertips wide, knees underneath the hips. You can always use a towel or blanket to cushion the knees in any of these postures where the knees are on the mat. And just take a second to press away from the yoga mat. We're gonna do this a lot. So, so really not surrendering to the gravity here, but defying gravity on day one, what's up? So press away from the mat and feel that length in the armpit chest area. It's kind of a lifting up out of the shoulder and feel the heart lift and then check in with your rib cage. Is it also kind of falling towards the ground or can we again defy gravity? How cool as we maybe hug the lower ribs up to find length in the spine. As you can see, Benji's perfectly <laughs> on, in position for today's practice. It's a good omen. Now bring your awareness to your belly. Draw your navel up just a bit and feel this lengthening in the low back. So if you're like, what? You can peek at the video instead of allowing it to collapse here, like we're about to intentionally do in cow pose, see if you can find a nice neutral spine, drawing the navel up with the low ribs, hugging in. All right, press into the tops of the feet to engage the legs just a bit. Then bring your gaze straight down, neck nice and long. Bump the hips now just to the left. Turn your gaze to look past the right shoulder. Feel a little stretch in your left side waist. Try to keep your foundation firmly rooted as you press the hips a little more and send your gaze towards the back right corner of your mat. Breathe in. Nice, and then on the exhale, slow and steady with control, come back to center. And now bumping the hips to the right, turning to look past your left shoulder. So the trick here is really paying attention to your foundation, noticing if the feet have kind of gone askew or if you're collapsing into your hands, reinforce that connection. And take a deep breath in here as you look towards the bottom left corner of your mat. Good, and then exhale, bring it all the way back to center. Inhale, drop the belly nice and slow here. Send your heart forward, gaze forward. Again, press into the tops of the feet, press into the hands, feel that stretch in the front body. And then on your next exhale, follow your breath, navel draws up. We tuck the tailbone and the crown of the head goes to the ground. Cat pose. Now let's flow with the breath. Inhale, dropping the belly, open the chest. Nice and slow, press into the fingertips. And exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Really draw the muscles of the deep core up, up, up. And keep going with your breath. Good. then bring it back to neutral, tabletop position. We're gonna walk the hands forward from here, create two slides with your arms. The elbow creases are turning towards the front edge of the mat, slightly in. So you wanna externally rotate your shoulders so that happens. And then curl the toes under, inhale in, exhale from center, navel draws in and up, send the hips high and back. Our first downward dog together in this series. I have a Benji hair on my knee. I'll take that for good luck as well. Take a deep breath in here. 
And as you exhale, keep the palms, the knuckles grounded as you start to find some movement in the lower half of your body, bending the knees, of course, stretching through the feet, the ankles, the Achilles, the calves. Now bend your elbows slightly, just slightly so they're not locked and continue to think about lifting up through the hip creases as you breathe in deeply. And exhale completely. Great, when you feel good or you feel satisfied, we'll say, let's find stillness for a breath or two here. Seeing if we can hug those low ribs in, draw the navel to the spine and send the majority of our weight to the lower half of the body. Now we have 30 days to work on this together. So we're just taking stock. Nice, and then slowly lower to your knees, bring the big toes together, walk the knees as wide as your mat and send the hips back. Child's pose, extended child's pose. You can bring the palms together if you like, up and over the head here. You can stretch the arms out wide. Find what feels good for a breath cycle or two here. You can rock the head, the forehead, maybe gently on the earth. And then bring the hands back to the mat. Lift back up through tabletop, walk your knees underneath your hips. Curl the toes under, take a deep breath in, and exhale, hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Now anchor through your left heel here. Press into both palms evenly and inhale, slowly lift the right leg up. See if you can keep your hips level. If you start to shake here, it's all good. We're building strength one day at a time. If you've been practicing a while, see if you can really work on your symmetry, keeping the hips level, keeping those low ribs hugging in, pressing away from your mat with your hands and anchoring through that left heel. Sweet, then bend the right knee and we can open it up for a breath, stretch, stacking the hips, breathe in and breathe out to bring the right foot down. Let's take it to the other side, take a little break anytime you need to by lowering the knees, of course, throughout the 30 day journey. Right heel anchors when you're ready on an inhale, sliding that left foot up an imaginary wall. And then just, just today's all about taking stock without any judgment. Breathe. Let's try to find some symmetry here, pressing into both palms evenly, maybe pulling that right hip crease back. If you've been practicing for a bit, finding level hips. And then we release that structure, that specificity by bending the knee, stacking the hips, taking a deep breath in. And an exhale to release it all the way back down. Sweet, bend the knees, look forward, inhale in, exhale, make your way to the top. I'm gonna do crisscross steps today, walking slowly up to the mat, stretching as I go. You can hop, you can take two steps, four steps, I'll meet you at the top, feet hip width apart, standing forward fold. Take a couple deep breaths here. Bend your knees, feel that beautiful stretch in the low back. And then send your awareness to the soles of your feet. So grounding through all four corners of the feet, the back two corners of the heels, the ball joint of the big toe and the ball joint of the pinky toe. Find your footing. And then when you're ready, we're gonna bend the knees so much that the belly comes towards the tops of the thighs and the strong muscles of the glutes and the legs start to engage. And it's from there that we'll slowly then begin to tuck the chin into the chest and roll it up. Hands on the waist, or if you feel comfortable, hands uh, falling forward like a rag doll. Slowly as you rise up, stacking through the spine, reinforce that connection with your feet. It's just an awareness, all four corners, grounding. And then 
think about this upward current of energy lifting you through the front body. You can kind of use your imagination. There's this element of creativity to this practice that's gonna take us to day 30 in a really beautiful way. So think of like, I always think of it as like Ariel on the rock or Kate at the front of the boat, but we're, we're lifting up through the front and then just like in traditional yoga practice and science, what goes up must come down. We have the lift, lifting, and then the grounding. So think about this grounding energy in the back body. And that's kind of what's bringing, into your natu- bringing you into your natural posture today. So you don't have to force these postures. I will guide you and help, help kind of carry us through an exploration. But think about the energy you're bringing each day and how you have the power to shift that just by coming to the mat and spending some time with yourself. So lifting up through the front body, rounding through the back body. Find your mountain pose today. That's what this shape is. You can imagine the crown of your head is the tip of the mountain. I always used to do that in in my kids' yoga classes, but I think it's great. I mean, I use it all the time too, just finding that length from the crown. That lengthening through the spine that we're going to focus a lot on throughout this journey. All right, take a deep breath in here. And as you breathe in this time, think about sending that breath to your belly. So a nice full belly breath. And then let it go. And twice more like that. Actually, let's bring the hands to the belly. Big inhale here. Feel that expansion in your hands. And on the exhale, the navel draws in. And one more, just like that, we're playing around. Big inhale. And exhale, draw it in. Sweet, interlace the fingertips, bring them behind your head. Thumbs can extend here to kind of cradle your neck with love. Soft bend in the knees. We're gonna inhale in, lift the chest, just lean back a bit. You don't have to do a crazy back bend here, in fact, don't. Keep the knees bent, navel draws in. You're just gonna take the left elbow down, right elbow up, nice side body stretch here. Reinforce that connection with your right heel to the earth. Then navel draws in, knees stay bent. You're just gonna accentuate the bend in the knees as the navel draws back and you come through center. Think cat pose and then over to the right. Right elbow down, left elbow up. Lean your head back into your little neck cradle here that you've created with your thumbs. Feel that stretch in the left side waist. Dig into your left heel. And then we'll take it all the way up through center. Now let's keep this going, a slow circular motion with your breath. And there's no right or wrong with the breath, just allowing it to have and try to maintain the spotlight. Breathing deeply, keeping it moving now, nice and slow this circular motion with your breath. And there's no right or wrong with the breath here, just making sure the breath is leading the way, whatever that means to you. Benji just sighed, <laughs> listening to his breath. Okay, and in your own time, so you decide when, be sure to reverse it. And try to keep the elbows nice and wide, the knees soft. We're massaging the internal organs here. Lengthening the side body, the side waist, the low back. Connecting to the glutes, the quads. And giving the spine lots of love. All right, bring it back up to your mountain pose. We can release the fingertips down and now we're gonna interlace them, bind them behind the back. Draw the knuckles down and away, open the chest, stand up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, feel that stretch in the pectorals and a little opening in your heart space. Sweet, and on your exhale, let's slowly take it forward, diving forward into a forward fold, keeping the bind, bending the knees, allowing the head, the neck, the shoulders to relax. So if there's any gripping there, holding any tension, Try to soften it with some gentle movement, maybe shaking the head yes and no. 
and then nice and slow with control best you can release the fingertips and with control wiggle the fingertips as you slowly release the arms all the way back down great take a deep breath in you're going to slide the hands up to the tops of the shins and just find length in the spine as you breathe in a little lift halfway and then exhale soften and fold let everything come back down standing forward fold Great, fingertips come to the mat. Step your left foot back, left foot. Bend the right knee. And we're gonna slow and steady. We're gonna roll up nice and slow to a standing lunge. Hands come to the waist. Breathe deep here. If this is much too much for you today, you can lower this knee down to the ground and work here. Perfect, awesome. Pull the right hip crease back. Draw the navel in and up. See if you can find this lift from the pelvic floor. Good, then stay here, breathe, or fingertips can go down to come up as you inhale, reaching all the way up towards the sky. Front knee over front ankle, pulling that right hip crease back, hugging the low ribs in. Take a deep breath in. Relax the shoulders as you breathe out. On your next inhale, carve a line with your nose to slowly look all the way up towards your fingertips. Just check it out, taking stock. Good, and then exhale, Pivot on the back foot, bring your left heel to the ground and we're gonna open up warrior two. Just checking it out today. Pull the pinkies back, lift up through your heart and then send your gaze past your right fingertips, owning this shape, feeling the sensation. Breathe. And then let's flip the script. You're gonna straighten the front leg now, send the right fingertips all the way up and back. A little reverse triangle here, big stretch, big breath, inhale in. Exhale, have a little fun here. We're gonna cartwheel it all the way back to a nice low lunge, fingertips on the ground. Good, in your lunge, you can keep the back knee lifted or lowered. As you inhale, look forward, open up through the front body. And then exhale, plant the palms, step the right foot back to a plank pose. Mm -hmm. On day one, we got this. Navel draws up, press away from your yoga mat, reach the heels back, crown of the head forward. Take a breath or two here to just take stock. You got this. Breathe. And after a couple breaths, you can lower the knees and slowly lower all the way to the belly. Wish you guys had the view I had have. And then dragging the hands underneath the shoulders, we're going to come into three baby cobras. So press into your foundation. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Press into your foundation, that which is touching the earth. And when you're ready, inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Nice and easy. Careful not to crunch the back of the neck. Keep the chin tucked. On an exhale, slowly lower. Forehead kisses the earth or Benji. Inhale, rise up. Squeeze the elbows each time. Find something new. Exhale, cascade it down. And one more. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, soften and release. Good, curl the toes under, lift the kneecaps, tone the quads, inhale in, exhale, press up, power up, quietly whisper to yourself, I am strong, I am strong. Then send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog, and remember today's affirmation, I can. Then bend the knees, inhale, look forward, exhale, make your way to the top. Baby steps, maybe a rag doll, Maybe a little hop. And feet come together, really together here, standing forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, slowly bending back into the fold. Good, bend the knees, fingertips come to the mat. This time we step the right foot back. Bend through the left knee. We imagine you're squeezing your legs in towards the midline of your mat. So there's this kind of cinching, drawing inward energy as you slowly rise up, standing, lunge, hands on the hips. Front knee bent, right heel reaching back. We can always bring that back knee down, no problem. And breathe here, relax the shoulders. Find your center, so draw that navel in and up. In yoga, we call this Uddiyana Bandha, 
but really you can also think about engaging the muscles of your deep core, your lower core, your, your guts. And then if you like, send the fingertips down to come up. Full expression here, high lunge. Breathe. And then maybe carving a line with the nose all the way up, taking a deep breath in to look up towards the sky. Sweet, and then on an exhale, we open up warrior two. Press into the outer edge of your back foot. Your right toes are turned in towards the center of your mat, just a hair, front knees bent. Just taking stock today. Want to stack the head over the heart, the heart over pelvis in this warrior posture. So just take note. Good, then straighten the front leg, send the left fingertips all the way up and back. Big breath, big stretch from the ball joint of your left big toe all the way through your left fingertips. Good, then exhale, cartwheel it all the way forward. Take up space slowly and with control, come all the way back down to your nice low runner's lunge. Good, back knee can stay lifted or lowered. We're gonna inhale, open the chest, look forward. Creating a whole body experience here. Good, then exhale, plant the palms, step it back, plank pose. Take a deep breath in here, listen carefully. Exhale, hips up high and back, downward facing dog. You can, the hardest part is showing up and we are here. You can and you will. Take one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, melt your heels down towards the earth. It's okay if they don't touch. Just the intention and press away from your mat with your palms. Sweet. And when you're ready, a slow descend of the knees to kiss the earth. And we'll send the hips back to melt the heart. Child's pose. Can keep the arms reaching forward, or if it feels good, you can slide the palms on the mat and send the fingertips towards the back edge, towards your feet, and allow the shoulders to round forward. Close your eyes, my darling friends. Make a wish. Sorry, it's too early in the series to start singing Boys to Men. Is it though? Take a couple centering breaths here, feeling the way your breath moves you. Feel that stretch in the skin of the back as you breathe in. And just that softening as you exhale. And if this shape is not so good for you, you can Come to lie on your back a little early or you can come to a comfortable seat. We're just going to take two more cycles of breath here. And then slowly we'll lift the head and the heart. We'll come to shift our weight just to one side, any side, and then send the legs out in front. We're gonna point the toes. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'll adjust for you. We're gonna point the toes, send the fingertips forward. You can interlace them if you like. You can do like a Charlie's Angel steeple grip or you can just reach them forward. But we wanna send intention out through the arms because it's gonna help you as you point the toes. And today, again, just taking stock, my friends. So we're gonna slowly roll it down working to engage the muscles of the core and working to really see if we can go one vertebra at a time. Now there may be a moment where your legs fly up, very humbling moment, that's, that's why we're here. Humility is a big part of this practice for me. And then eventually, you're probably maybe already there, <laughs> we'll come down to the ground and we will snuggle the shoulder blades underneath the heart space. Take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, we're just gonna give ourselves a little hug here to close. So hug the knees up to the chest. You can massage the lower back and the sacrum here by drawing slow circles, maybe one way and then the other. Just 
keep the breath nice and active here as we inch towards the end of this practice. For real, that's it. It flew by. Each day we'll be learning new vocabulary and showing up for an experience that will have such an impact off the mat, one that we we don't even know, one that we can't even see, but we'll be able to feel. All right, bring the feet to the ground, extend one leg and then the other. If there's any last little bits of movement maybe you wanna do before we wrap this baby, please feel free to mindfully do them now. Let's come into this shape of the corpse pose or Shavasana where we relax the full weight of the body into the earth. So now we completely surrender to gravity. I would invite you to close your eyes and just think about this shape every time we come to the end. This is for people who've been practicing a long time and for a beautiful beginner's mind. Think about this as a, a layered event. First exhale, you let go once. Second exhale, you might notice that you're holding in an area of the body that, that maybe you weren't aware of. And then there's the energetic offering here to really just allow your energy to soften, to recalibrate, to allow the nutrients of your practice, the breath work, the affirmation, the movement, allow it to come together so that it may serve you best. This journey is about coming back. It's about knowing and understanding who you are through daily practice. And I'm extremely honored to go on this journey with you. Bring the palms together, slowly bring the thumbs up to your forehead here, this third eye point, you can give it a little touch. The power of touch is good. Hey yo, day one. All right. Thank you again. Let's close with a deep inhale in. Lots of love. And one final exhale out. Lots of love. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day two. Thank you for sharing this centering practice with me. Take care.